We start here on Voices tonight with the difficulty of paying for our pets. Costs have, of course, skyrocketed in recent years. Now, though, there is a unique proposal to try to help you make ends meet. Think of this. Last year, Americans collectively spent $147 billion on our pets. But what if you could use tax advantaged savings accounts like an HSA to cover some of your vet fees and even pet insurance? I talked about that with a local congresswoman. We're also hearing tonight from a pet owner and a financial expert on how this could affect your budget. It's very expensive to be a pet owner these days. Even with pet care and veterinary costs on the rise, Shannon Hurley doesn't hesitate to pay for what her dogs need. We got Lyra two years ago and we already had one Australian Shepherd and in two years we've spent over $2,000 in vet bills. Despite the cost, pets are about as popular as ever. 66% of households in the U.S. own a pet. That's almost 87 million families. But costs are going up, with veterinary services in urban areas jumping nearly 8% last month compared to a year before. There are lots of reasons why, from shortages of practitioners to supply chain issues. Certainly supply would be an issue, but a lot of it is just coming down to inflation, where the cost of everything has gone up in the last couple of years, and pet care is certainly no exception to that. Many veterinary companies maintain that costs are being pushed up by a tight labor market and higher demand for more sophisticated treatment. Competition regulators, meanwhile, are scrutinizing whether the rising power of big corporations in the profession, many backed by private equity firms, is also resulting in higher prices. Either way, families are feeling the pinch. So there is this bipartisan bill in Congress that would allow pet owners to use tax-advantaged health savings accounts to help pay for pet medical bills and insurance. It's the most uh, popular thing I've done in a long time. Local Congresswoman Claudia Tenney is a sponsor. I thought it was a really great way to give support, especially to people who have service animals, whether they're veterans or others who have service animals, because it assists them in being able to keep their pet healthy. Under the proposed law, pet owners could use their HSA or FSA to pay for up to $1,000 a year in veterinary care or pet insurance. A lot of people don't have have that thousand dollars laying around and a lot of people use their credit card as an emergency fund and would use that to manage the cost of that emergency expense for that pets. About one in five Americans reports having an HSA or FSA, so this would impact millions of us. Everything's more expensive, but you know, especially, uh, you know, pets can be viewed as almost a luxury, but for people who rely on them for their mental and physical health, they're a necessity. They aren't a luxury. And so the cost of uh, veterinary care has gone up and the ability to keep your pet healthy along with you, uh, I think is really important. It is likely many pet owners would use these accounts on their pets because according to Statista, 82% of millennials, the largest pet owning group, say they view their pets as children. We all have a bond with our animals. I mean, how, I mean, my dog, I, I worry about him all the time. I know he's got congestive heart failure. I mean, he's, he's, uh, I always joke with my son that I'm going to put him in my will, you know, and he's going to be getting, and he's always like, what? You know, like I said, well, I said, make sure you take care of him. It would make life so much easier when it comes to the pet of like, you know, sometimes you're on the fence of, is this, is this an emergency or should I wait? So many families asking that question. Congresswoman Tenney told me that while everyone with an HSA or an FSA would be eligible for this, again, it was especially designed for those with service animals. So while most of us would have a yearly cap of $1,000, it would be higher for those folks with service animals who are registered. She also told me that she thinks this bill will pass this year. It has bipartisan support, including from the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, where it is right now. We'll keep you posted as this progresses.